Good morning. My name is Joel Kincart, and I'm the Associate Vice President for Advancement and Institute Advancement. It is my pleasure to begin our program by introducing to you a member of the class of 1981 and our 19th president, Dr. Schmidt. I was sitting here goofing around with my pen and didn't notice that Joel was calling me up. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right, well listen, thank you, Joel. Uh, good morning, welcome, members of the Rensselaer Board of Trustees, the Rensselaer Alumni Association Board of Trustees, honored guests and families to the Rensselaer Alumni Association Awards Ceremony. We are delighted to have all of you with us in Troy for this special weekend. Every one of you is here because you are a great champion of RPI. This weekend is personally very special to me as it is for Lynn, as it's the first reunion and homecoming that we're enjoying as president of our beloved alma mater, of my beloved alma mater. We're gonna make Lynn a virtual alumni. Um, <laughs> so I'm honored and humbled to be a part of the weekend as well as this special program as we honor the accomplishments of those alumni whose exemplary service sets a standard of excellence for the entire Rensselaer community. Over the past few months since my tenure began, I have set, spent a lot of time listening and learning to members of the faculty, staff, students, alumni. One common theme rises to the top, the intense love and pride for this great institution. And so I'm thrilled to be able to be here as we present the deserving recipients with medals and awards in recognition of their dedication to the RPI community. And now I'm delighted to turn the proceedings over to the RIA president, Megan Mulder, my new BFF, uh, and class of 2010, who will begin the RIA awards presentation. Thank you, President Schmidt. Good morning. My name, good morning, that was great. Uh, my name is Megan Lenahan Mulder, class of 2010, and I'm the current RAA president. It is my honor to welcome you to the 2022 RAA Awards Ceremony. It has been three years since we have gotten together and been able to recognize the contributions of our outstanding alumni. A lot has changed over the past three years. We have gained three new classes of alumni, we have lost some truly incredible members of our families, friends, and leaders of our community. And we have learned how to adapt in ways we could not have Im thought imaginable just three short years ago. Today we come together to celebrate the accomplishments of the alumni whose exemplary service sets a standard for excellence in the entire RPI community. These individuals have shared generous amounts of their time, their individual talents, and their passion for Rensselaer. The award winners we recognize today have gone the extra mile as ambassadors of the Institute, and we are proud to be able to share the stories of their accomplishments with you. I would like to start off by offering a special thanks to the RA Awards Committee, chaired by Terrence Barton, class of 1992. <laughs> he led a talented committee that gave careful consideration as they selected recipients in most of the award categories being presented today. I would like to ask the members of the RAA Awards Committee who are in attendance to please stand and be recognized for all of their work in helping us celebrate this year's winners. Along with Terrence, the committee, the committee is comprised of Glenn Brown, Class of Champions, 1954. <laughs> Terrence. Uh, Terry Kozakowski, Class of 1985. I don't think made it. Uh, Alicia Rios, class of 2007, and Lauren Thomas, class of 2001. In 2013, the Rensselaer Alumni Association established an endowment to help support the programs and needs of the alumni and students of Rensselaer. This summer, after hearing of the passing of Rich Ballum, class of 66, 
the RAA board unanimously voted to rename the RAA Endowment Fund in honor of Rich. He was instrumental in establishing this fund and enabling the RAA to be able to give out the RAA Emerging Leader Awards each year. These awards are given to rising juniors or seniors who are a member of either the Red and White Student Organization or Greek Life. This candidate must show exceptional leadership and be extremely committed to Rensselaer and to the RAA's mission. They must have made a meaningful and lasting contribution to the relationship between Rensselaer students and alumni communities and must showcase the student alumni initiatives that they have been involved with and the meaningful impact they have had on their organization. Our first recipient of the 2022 REA Emerging Leader Award is Peter Bria. Peter is a senior majoring in aerospace engineering and joined Lambda Chi Alpha his freshman year. During the summer of 2021, Peter was the chairman of the Summer Executive Committee for LXA. In this role, he worked to restart the chapter and to help it emerge from the pandemic and to prepare the chapter house for full occupancy in the fall of 2021. Currently, Peter is the president of LXA and has been working to reestablish contact with our alumni through the establishment of an alumni advisory board, providing mentoring and support for their chapter leaders. In addition, Peter has been working with their alumni liaison to create and distribute a regular newsletter to alumni. For his dedication to his fraternity and strengthening student alumni ties, we are pleased to present Peter Bria, class of 2023, with the Emerging Leader Award. Thank you. Our second recipient of the 2022 Emerging Leader Award is Nicole Gramanides, class of 23. <laughs> Nicole is a senior majoring in business analytics and science, technology, and society, and joined Alpha Gamma Delta and is one of my sisters her freshman year. In addition, her involvement with AGD, Nicole is a supervisor at Renex working her way up through the ranks from a student caller, Nicole enjoys the meaningful conversations and connections she makes with alumni and parents about RPI, as well as all of the advice she has received from them regarding post-graduation plans. Throughout her time at RPI, Nicole has held numerous Greek leadership roles across campus, including Greek Senator, VP Scholarship for Order of Omega, and VP of Campus Relations for AGD. In these roles, Nicole is enhancing relationship between Greek life and the Institute, as well as providing positive outreach to students from the Greek community. Her dedication to strengthening the relationships between alumni and the Institute, as well as the Greek community, is unparalleled. We are pleased to present Nicole, class of 2023, with the Greek Leader Award. Congratulations. <laughs> I would like to ask Don McCarthy, Director of Alumni Relations, to please join me on stage. Thank you, Megan. The highest award given to regional chapters is the Craig W. Angel Class of 1935 Chapter of the Year Award. This award was created in 1987 by the Rensselaer Alumni Association Board of Trustees to recognize the outstanding programs and activities of the regional alumni chapters. This year, the award goes to the New Jersey chapter of the Rensselaer Alumni Association, led by its chapter president, Ray Lim, of the class of 2007.
The New Jersey chapter is being recognized as the 2022 Craig W. Angel 35 Chapter of the Year for their commitment to engaging alumni in the New Jersey area and for their support of Rensselaer. They are a widespread and diverse chapter that re represents over 4,600 RPI alumni. Despite the pandemic, they have continued to host alumni chapter programming and elevated the types of programming and topics, pulling in a wide variety of alumni with varying interests virtually and as 2021 progressed through in-person events. Specific activities have included networking and professional development with topics from human resources to venture capital, social and athletic events capitalizing on their proximity to Major League Baseball and other teams, and to the Sculpture Gardens. They continue to set a high bar for their welcome of new students. In just the past year, they have hosted an event each month with over 350 alumni joining to connect, network, and mentor. The New Jersey chapter has become a model for developing programming and events and has offered to share their process and assist fellow chapters. Raya, please accept this award with our sincere thanks in recognition of the New Jersey chapter's dedication to the alumni community and support for Rensselaer. I would also like to ask the members of the New Jersey chapter to stand and be recognized. Our next award, our next award is the Director's Award and is being pre presented to individuals who have made the most, made significant contributions to the success of the Rensselaer Alumni Association and to the Office of Alumni Relations. The, re the recipient will receive a certificate and a Director's Chair to display in their home or office. Our 2022 recipient of the Director's Award is John Sun, class of 1987 and a parent of the class of 2021. John? John is being recognized for his outstanding service to the New Jersey chapter, having officially served as president, past president, alumni events coordinator, and volunteer coordinator. John continues to help and guide events led by others on the team. Unlike in 2020, 2021 has seen, was seen as the year in which our alumni have been completely zoomed out. The chapter had retained their following throughout the 2020 time period with virtual events. And in 2021, many of the alumni returned for those in-person events and became regulars at their monthly planning meetings. Most recently, John organized the student send-off event, which had over 100 individuals in attendance. All of John's efforts have served our mission well to strengthen the bonds among, among, uh, among alumni and between alumni and Rensselaer. Please join me in congratulating John on receiving the 2022 Director's Award. This year's reunion would not be possible without the class year committees and their volunteers who put in many hours to plan and encourage classmates to join them here on campus this weekend. With the following alumni class committee volunteers who are in attendance today, please stand to be recognized. The class, the great class of 1957, Doug Hasbrook. The class of 1961, Jay Webb and Brian McManus. The class of 1962, John Templin. The class of 1970, Bill Palmer, Rick Hart, and Paul Miller. The class of 1971, Mark Rice and Tom Chamorro. The class of 1972, June Fultz and Claudia Sterling. The class of 
the class of 1977, Maureen Robinson. The class of 1992, Terrence Barton and Paul Edelman. And the class of 2011, Michael Zwack. <laughs> Rensselaer would like to extend our deep appreciation for your efforts to bring classmates back to Rensselaer for the 2022 reunion and homecoming. Megan. The Alumni Key Award was created in 1965 by the Rensselaer Alumni Association to recognize the outstanding service supporting the advancement of Rensselaer through chapters, classes, fundraising, and special events by either alumni or friends. I would like to ask all past recipients of the Alumni Key Award who are here this morning to please stand and be recognized with a round of applause. All right, now let us recognize this year's recipients. Don Bergio, class of 1989. Don has demonstrated a dedication to Rensselaer that is hard to beat. As the volunteer alumni relations director for RPI's chapter of Sigma Phi Epsilon since 1998, and a member of the Rensselaer Alumni Association Board of Trustees since 2018, Don boasts a long list of contributions to both his fraternity and alma mater. He was instrumental in starting a fund for his fraternity that has provided scholarships to RPI freshmen annually, regardless of gender or affiliation, for more than a decade. He was also key in engaging other alumni to support RPI's fraternity and sorority chapter, relief, chapter support fund, Pandemic Relief, through two RPI Giving Day, where his chapter had over 90 donors the first year and has won first place for chapter participation for the past two years. In addition, Don has recently moderated an RAA panel on entrepreneurship, was a panelist on a career panel for students, and gave an interactive talk on artificial intelligence and machine learning for students with RPI's IEEE chapter. He also mentors students through the Electrical, Computer, and Systems Engineering Industry Advisor Program here at RPI, and has been an active participation in the Dallas-Fort Worth chapter of the RAA. Don has philanthropically supported the Rensselaer Annual Fund Patroon Scholars Program, and if you were at the Patroon Brunch this morning, Don is one of the new members of the Amosy and Society of Patroons. He has been a supporter for the Rensselaer philanthropic efforts for over 23 years. Don was awarded the RAA's Director's Chair in 2015 for all his contributions to the Office of Alumni Relations, and he was elected the RAA VP of Finance in 2021. We are excited to award Don with the 2022 Alumni Key Award. All righty. Our next award winner is Jason Hagopian class of 1991. Jason is an incredible volunteer and leader within the Rensselaer community and has continued to grow his impact since joining the Rensselaer Alumni Association Board of Trustees in 2016 and being elected as vice president in 2020. As the VP for Chapters Committee, he has strengthened the relationship between the 45 plus regional and international chapters, the Institute and the RAA. He has led these volunteers through the transition from 100% in-person events to 100% virtual during COVID and beyond, and has been able to create sustainable, impactful programming that will be utilized for years to come. In addition, Jason has been involved in his regional chapter and has hosted numerous events, including presidential events and summer send-offs at his home in Florida, and has philanthropically supported Rensselaer for over 14 years. As a result of these efforts and more, we are honored to award Jason with the 2022 Alumni Key Award.
Our next award winner is Mr. Tom Keating, class of 1975. As the president of the RSC Board of Trustees, Tom has been a guiding light for alumni and RSC members over the years. He has worked diligently with the Institute to develop a path forward to enable the successful reestablishment of the chapter on campus. In addition to his involvement with RSC, Tom continues to show that he is a dedicated advocate for his alma mater. In his hometown of Boston, he volunteers for his local regional chapter and supports networking events in that area. Tom has also supported the Rensselaer philanthropic efforts for over 30 years. During his time on the RAA board, Tom was instrumental in the development of the RAA tradition book that documents the traditions throughout the years that will hopefully be completed this year. And we're going to ask for Tom to come back and help with that. As a result, and a, he also was instrumental in running and analyzing the results of our all alumni survey. Tom was recognized with the director's chair in 2012 for his dedication to RPI and RSC. And we are now pleased to recognize Tom's many valuable contributions to Rensselaer with the 2022 Alumni Key Award. All right. Our next recipient is Fernando Quintero, class of 1994. Fernando has been a pillar in the Puerto Rico chapter since 2019, a top-notch ambassador for Rensselaer for many, many years. Fernando currently serves as a chapter president, and because of his leadership, RPI has seen not only an increase in local alumni participation, but also in admissions applications from Puerto Rico. During his tenure as the president of the RPI chapter, in Puerto Rico, they have, run, they have won Pi Day challenges as well as hosted local, sorry, hosted social events and student send-offs, all while navigating a global pandemic. Fernando has helped to build a sustainable and vibrant chapter, and because of this, we are excited to award Fernando with the 2022 Alumni Key Award. recipients of the 2022 RAA Alumni Key Award were unable to be with us this evening, but we would like to recognize Patricia Delory, class of 1985, and Brian Knock, class of 2013. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> For their dedication and loyal service to their alma mater, thank you to the 2022 Alumni Key Award recipients. Next up, we will be giving out the Albert Fox Demers Medal. Glenn, would you join me on stage and help me give out the awards? Thank you. You can stand over where Matt was. The Albert Fox Demers Medal is the second highest award the Rensselaer Alumni Association bestows. It was established in 1942 by John Knickerbocker, class of 1886, to recognize and stimulate the interest and welfare of the Institute by alumni and friends. He stipulated that the first medal be given to Mr. Demers for his interest and loyalty to the Institute. I would ask that all the past recipients of the Albert Fox Demers Medal who are here in attendance to please stand and be recognized with a round of applause. Bon Hi, Hi, Thank you all very much. Our first award winner is Linda Jojo, undergraduate class of 1987 and graduate class of 1992. Throughout Linda's entire career, she has always been recognized for her great leadership. During her time as a student athlete on the women's basketball team at RPI, her early career in various technology leadership roles at GE, and all the way through her current position as Executive Vice President and Chief Customer Officer at United Airlines, Linda's ability to lead with humility, authenticity, and grace has made her an inspiration to many. 
Linda is very passionate about preparing the next generation for STEM careers. RPI and its students have been very fortunate recipients of Linda's knowledge, expertise, and support throughout the years. Linda earned both her bachelor's degree in computer science and a master's degree in industrial and management engineering from RPI. Since graduation, Linda has always remained engaged, living locally at first and primarily attending sporting events, especially women's basketball and football. But as her career took her further away from Troy, she remained connected to her alma mater in special ways. In 2008, Linda spearheaded a campaign that named the Women's Basketball Locker Room in honor of her teammate, Lori Hendler. She joined the Board of Trustees of the Rensselaer Alumni Association in 2010, serving as Vice President and Treasurer, and in 2018, she was asked to join the RPI Board of Trustees and currently serves as the Chair of the Student Life Committee. Linda and her husband, Bob, who is also an RPI alum, still get to a few football and basketball games each year. They have been very generous in their philanthropy and are members of the Livingston Houston Society of Patroons and the annual Patroon Gift Society. Linda was previously recognized with the Alumni Key Award in 2017 for her dedication to current Rensselaer students and student athletes, and we are now pleased to present Linda with the 2022 Albert Fox Demers Medal. Our next recipient comes all the way from Seattle, actually now Los Angeles, Kareem Mohammed, class of 2001. Kareem's dedication and passion for Rensselaer extends over two decades. Kareem has a passion for making the difference since his days as a student. He transitioned from a member of the Student Senate and was elected class president in 2001. Kareem has given freely of his time and leadership expertise ever since. After graduating RPI, Kareem joined the Boeing Company and shortly thereafter returned to RPI to recruit students for full-time and internship opportunities available across the enterprise. From 2012 to 2020, Kareem served as the Boeing Deputy Executive Focal for RPI, a role that involved leading the engineering recruiting efforts at Rensselaer for Boeing. In addition to his recruiting efforts, Kareem volunteered for committee involvement with the REA board and was elected to the board a few years later in 2012. And he ultimately served as the 116th president of the REA from 2017 to 2019, becoming the first African American to serve in this role. Highlights during his tenure include the chartering of the Hong, Chong, Hong Kong and Shanghai REA chapters in China, commemorating the 150th anniversary of the REA and refocusing efforts on REA governance improvements. Following his term as president, Kareem served to initiate the RPI Corporate Council and acted as the Boeing Corporate Champion for Rensselaer. Most recently, Kareem was part of the Presidential Search Committee that brought back President Schmidt to RPI. Throughout the years, <laughs> throughout the years Kareem has also been involved in local chapter events, fraternity events for Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, and working to, the, to impact, working to enhance the impact of the Black and Latinx alumni group, BLAG. In addition, in addition, <laughs> Kareem has served as a member of the RA Hall of Fame balloting committee. In appreciation of his outstanding philanthropy, generosity, and commitment to Rensselaer, he received membership in the prestigious BF Green Society of Patroons. For his earlier volunteer efforts, Kareem was recognized with the REA Alumni Key Award in 2011, and we are pleased to honor him today with the Albert Fox Demers Medal. And our third recipient, of the Albert Fox Demers Medal. My friend and mentor, Matt Siegel, class of 1985. With a deep passion for RPI, our alumni, and our students, Matt Siegel truly epitomizes the mission of the Rensselaer Alumni Association to connect and grow our alumni community while investing in the Rensselaer of tomorrow. At every, in at every instance, Matt promotes the interest, welfare, and educational aims of Rensselaer and its alumni. He recognizes the power of strong alumni connections and is truly committed to adding even greater value to the RAA's growing network. 
a former player for the Rensselaer football team, Matt continues to be an enthusiastic supporter of the football program, as well as RPI athletics. After a few years away, Matt came back to RPI as an assistant coach for the engineers football team. During this time, I, <laughs> I can't believe this story, but during this time, he was living in the 87 Gyms coach's apartment, making a stipend of $3,300 a year. And Lori's nodding her head, because she knows. Um, <laughs> And he got 10 meals per week at the dining hall. So I don't, I don't know how that adds up. Um, but what, what Matt did know, though, he met Lori and started dating and quickly realized that he was going to need to make a little bit more than that um, if they were going to continue to be a couple. So he actually took a role in Institute Advancement that allowed him to continue coaching. Shortly after Lori and Matt were married, Glenn Brown, class of 1954, offered Matt a position in Rochester, and the two moved out there. It was at this time that Matt began his involvement in the RAA after Glenn recruited Matt to join the RAA chapter in Rochester. Serving from 2019 to 2022 as the 117th president of the RAA Board of Trustees, Matt led the board through the most difficult times it has ever seen. Matt's tenacity as a leader enabled the board to navigate the challenges of a global pandemic with all but one of his meetings as president virtual. Matt's extraordinary service as a chapter president or as the RA president in support of the RPI athletics and his fraternity was recognized by the RAA in, 20, in 1997 by the Office of Alumni Relations when, with the director's chair in 1998. And this year, we are proud to recognize Matt's steadfast leadership and unwavering commitment to Rensselaer with the Albert Fox Demers Medal. For their passionate commitment and visionary leadership and boundless energy and support, thank you for all you do, and it is our honor to recognize you today. At this time, I would like to ask President Schmidt back to the stage to present the final awards for today. Okay. Okay, so first of all, congratulations to all the honorees this morning. Um, but now I have the distinct pleasure of presenting the 2022 Distinguished Service Award to two very special individuals. As many of you know, the Distinguished Service Award is the highest award that the Rensselaer Alumni Association bestows. It was created in 1967 by the RAA Board of Trustees to recognize distinguished service by alumni or friends to Rensselaer, to a profession, to the nation, or to humanity. This year, we will be presenting two awards. Since the founding of this award, the Rensselaer Alumni Association has honored 51 exemplary alumni and friends of RPI. I'm very pleased to recognize two past recipients of the Distinguished Service Award who are with us this evening. When I call your name, would you please stand and be recognized? Well, you're already standing, Glenn Brown, <laughs> class of 1954. <laughs> and also joining us, I believe, is uh, the Honorable Arthur Gayarza, class of 1962. Arthur, are you with us? <laughs> nope. Well, I saw him last night, so I know he's, <laughs> he's in, at least with us in spirit. So now I'd like to present our first Distinguished Service Award to Harry Bund Lindner, Jr., of the class of 1957, 
and graduate class of 1966. I would like to ask Bud's wife, Marge, also Bob Will Barb Willen of the class of 1982, Bud's daughter, and J.P. Stoffel of the class of 2011, Bud's grandson, to join us on the stage. So I first um, need to and would love to offer my condolences for the passing of Bud this summer. Bud's unwavering support for RPI, our alumni and students set the gold standard. Thank you all for being here and accepting the award on his behalf. I've been president of RPI for 99 days. Um, and I have a few regrets, and one is certainly that I never had the opportunity to meet Bud in person. RPI is honored to have had an alumni as loyal, dedicated, and passionate as Bud Lindner. Bud's commitment to RPI spanned almost 70 years and has made a lasting impression on the Institute. Bud and his wife Marge were avid hockey, RPI hockey fans and enjoyed traveling together, following the team to many away games, including the NCAA Frozen Four for several years. Let's get back there. <laughs> Throughout the years, Bud and Marge invited countless students to their home for Sunday dinners, ensuring that they had a home-cooked meal despite being far away from home. These dinners were a pillar of the RPI hockey community and possibly one of the reasons the 1985 team won the national championship. Bud and Marge's warmth and generosity have contributed to the familial spirit that embodies our hockey program and have enabled them to forge connections with students that have lasted long after graduation. A tireless volunteer, Bud contributed to the success of the Class of 1957 reunion program, serving as a member of the reunion planning committee for many years, as well as the success of the 50-year club. Bud has held many leadership positions for the 50-year club, including president, where he brought about opportunities for active participation and involvement with current students, but also stayed active in the Hudson Mohawk chapter, the Hudson Mohawk Retirees Group, and has served as a member of the Rensselaer Alumni Hall of Fame balloting committee since its inception. Bud and Marge's support of Rensselaer extends beyond their gift of time as they are members of the prestigious Amos Eaton Lifetime Patroon Society. Because of his selfless and extensive volunteerism, Bud was honored twice before by the RAA with the Alumni Key Award in 1982 and the Albert Fox Deemers Medal in 2012. In the 65 years since graduating from RPI with a bachelor's and master's degree in chemical engineering, must have spent a lot of time in rickets. <laughs> Bud proudly served in the U.S. Army and then had a successful 40-year career with General Electric until his retirement in 2000. His selfless approach to serving his community extends beyond RPI. Over his lifetime, Bud was very active in his church and the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship. He enjoyed teaching in church, leading Bible studies in their home, and playing his violin during Sunday morning services. It is with great pleasure that we present the 2022 Distinguished Service Award to Marge Linder in, on, in honor of the innumerable contributions that her late husband has made to our alma mater.
So at this point, I'd also like to welcome Barb and JP to offer remarks. Thank you, Dr. Schmidt. Um, I think if Dad were here, he would be uh, incredibly humbled by um, this award and, as my mom said, perhaps even a little embarrassed mm -hmm. by the attention. Uh, he grew up in a family of very modest means and was um, always so grateful for the opportunity um, offered by his scholarship to RPI. And as long as I can remember, he always felt uh, a sense of um, gratitude and he was compelled to give back however he could. So um, I just, as I watched other people coming up here, I know he would be so proud of all the other people who have been so involved in the Alumni Association, and um, he would just be very proud of you too, so thank you. Yeah, I'd like to go off of that. I'm JP, uh, fortunate to be Bud's grandson, and um, I can just say that he was so proud to be an RPI alum. He was proud of his fraternity. He was proud of every little bit of flair that was on his name tag each alumni weekend and they still hang around the house. He was proud of the, the hockey folks and others who would dine with him. Uh, you can see on the refrigerator the little postcards that family members still send their way, and uh, he was proud of RPI. He was very fortunate, I think, to have a wonderful daughter and grandson uh, who went here, <laughs> and a son-in-law as well, and uh, I'm just so proud of my grandfather. So thank you so much for honoring him today, Dr. Schmidt. Thank you. Your mother should be covered. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations. I'd now like to ask Charles Chuck Rancourt of the class of 1970 to join us here on stage. Okay, you ready for this? <laughs> for more than 50 years, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute has been honored with Chuck Roncourt as an alum, loyal friend, and champion. However, Chuck's RPI legacy does not start, does not start when he became a student, but long before and extends far beyond. Chuck grew up next to campus and was the son of a member of the class of 1930. Because of this, perhaps, it was inevitable that Chuck, his two brothers, two of his sons, his wife, and his nephews joined the Rensselaer family and attended RPI. As a student, Chuck was a vital part of the varsity men's hockey team. In the 50 years since graduating RPI with a bachelor's and master's degree in management, Chuck built a highly successful managerial career in the textile, paper, and printing industries. During this time, Chuck stayed close to Rensselaer, teaching part-time for some years and joining the staff as the director of the Office of Technology Commercialization and as part of the Rensselaer Technological Entrepreneurship Council. A tireless volunteer, Chuck has devoted himself to numerous Rensselaer applications, including the class reunion committee, making calls for the annual fund, organizing hockey reunions, and Rensselaer anniversary celebrations. The Rensselaer Alumni Association has also benefited from Chuck's steadfast service. Over the years, Chuck held various leadership positions for the RAA, including president, vice president, and treasurer. In addition, he was instrumental in the creation of and continued operation of the Rensselaer Hall of Fame. For the last two decades, Chuck has led the steering and selection committee, and just this past year has passed the torch, but will remain on the selection committee moving forward. Chuck has twice before been honored by the RIA with the RIA Alumni Key Award in 1999 and the Albert Fox Demers Medal in 2004. It's with great pleasure 
great pleasure that we present the 2022 Distinguished Service Award to Chuck Rancourt. Hold on, Chuck. <laughs> We're not, you're not going to get away without saying something. Thank you, Dr. Schmidt, and members of the RAA and alumni relations for this DSA award. I am truly grateful and thrilled uh, to receive it. And I also must say that I'm very emotional. Dr. Schmidt, Mrs. Schmidt, welcome back to RPI. Let me start by, by first saying thank you to my family. There's a whole group of them. And just please stand up. Way to go, Dad. <laughs> I am blessed to have so many of, of them here today and so many others here in spirit. I hope you all know how much you mean to me. My connection with RPI started almost 100 years ago, about half the time of RPI. When my father entered RPI in 1926, he was a member of the class of 1930. He became one of the early presidents of the Biological Society of RPI which included Professor Archie Bray. So for some of you, Bray Hall. My father knew Dr. Bray. Uh, at the time, Palmer Rickards was president, and Livingston Houston was a trustee. In 1956, when I was eight years old, we moved to Eaton Road near the campus, and I started to follow RPI especially the hockey program, the football program, and the lacrosse program. My brothers and I were rink rats, shag ballers, and other helpers to the different programs. Years later, I was recruited to attend RPI after committing to another school in Maryland. As a result, I became a legacy and now we have three generations of graduates in my family. As Dr. Schmidt had mentioned, both of my brothers, two sons, four nephews, all attended RPI, and so did my wife, Judy. We met while we were both working here at RPI. I guess that makes us RPI sweethearts. And thanks to Megan, we have a little byline on our tag. In addition to that, in our family, we have two medal winners and one grand marshal. In the spirit of the alma mater, here's to all the other award winners today and before. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Here's to my co-DSA award winner, Bud Linder, 
good friend, golf partner, and to Marge and her family. Bud will be missed. Here's to my great tech commercialization and business development colleagues and the many faculty and student inventors that are here at RPI. You are clearly changing the world. Here's to the hockey program. I am proud to be part of its history and good luck this season to both the men and the women's teams. Here's to former Vice President Bill McGoldrick and President Byron Pipes for embracing my idea for the Rensselaer Alumni Hall of Fame. I believe this is a very unique program that has become quite successful. Here's to the many men and women members of the balloting and selection committees of the Hall of Fame and the alumni relations staff. Couldn't have done it without you. Here's to Peter Padone and Dawn McCarthy in particular. You two have done so much to make the Hall of Fame happen. Here's to the Hall of Fame inductees, a very select group of about 90 members. From Stephen Van Rensselaer to my own classmate, Kathy Egloff Zoon, who we inducted this past year. You are truly the best of the best. And all of us, all members of the Rensselaer community, are very proud of you. Here's to the great class of 1970. Hard to believe it's been more than 50 years since we graduated. Let me pause for a moment, reflecting on my connection with RPI, starting with my father. I am very grateful and very privileged to have worked with so many great individuals. So in conclusion, here's to the friends I made at dear old RPI. Thank you very much. In so many ways, tough acts to follow, in so many ways. So on behalf of the RPI community, we congratulate you and all the others who were honored as part of tonight, today's <laughs> celebration. This, this morning has been a great way to continue this weekend's exceptional festivities. Before we head out to the alumni barbecue, I think we should end our time together by asking you all to join, well it says join me in singing our alma mater. However. If there was just a previous DSA winner who had the oratory skills to lead this audience, Glenn, could you please come up and help us with this? I used to put my arms around the last president. I'm not going to do that this time. I think you all know that the Rensselaer alma mater is unique in all the world. And when you sing the alma mater, I want you to feel what I feel. I feel history. I feel people like Chuck's dad, 
who came before us and left us so much, and left us so much to do. There's a little story I can't resist telling because there's no other time like the present. When I was checking into the hotel on Thursday, we had a very perky young lady at the desk. And she said, uh, I see you're from South Carolina. She says, what brings you this far north? And I said, well, I'm here for the inauguration of a new president for RPI. And I said, uh, this is an event that doesn't happen very often, and I needed to be here for it. And she looked at me kind of funny, and she stepped back, kind of cocked her head, and she said, are you the new president? <laughs> well, you know, the nice part about this is the whole community is excited. The city's excited. All of us are excited. All the staff, the maintenance workers, the guys driving the golf carts. They all see a very, very bright future. And so, even though I'm losing my voice to some extent, I still think of the alma mater every day. And put your arms around the folks next to you. Don't squeeze them too hard. <laughs> but what it does is it brings us together. And togetherness is what makes RPI great. Because we know each other, we love each other, and we have a common goal in mind. Here's to old RPI, her fame may never die. Here's to old Rensselaer, she stands today hey, without a fear. Here's to those olden days. Here's to those golden days. Here's to the friends we've made at dear old We we invite we would like to invite everyone to the 86 field for an alumni barbecue and presidential welcome.